Top story at this hour involves claims of anti-Semitic bullying in youth hockey. Yeah, there's a lawsuit tonight against several hockey organizations. It's aimed in particular at three players on an under-16 team, their parents, and a coach. Local force Rod Maloney is live in Troy tonight where that team often plays, Rod. That's right, and we're here with a national tournament here at the Troy Sports Center. We want to be clear, the Troy Sports Center is not involved in the suit whatsoever, but players and parents are, in fact, sued as part of this, and some of the kids who are involved in it are going to be playing here this week, while one who was bullied had to quit the team. They're offloading hockey equipment here at the Troy Sports Center for this week's national tournament. Among the teams, it's host, the U16-2006 Troy Sting. And the complaint says this is one of the posts the trio of players directed at teammate Caleb Goldstein of Bloomfield Hills, one of them saluting Adolf Hitler. Goldstein told us today he suffered verbal abuse as well. One of the kids looked at me and he goes, uh, why aren't you in your striped pajamas, which wasn't great. And then after that, it just kept going there and there. And a lot of the things like in our team group chat, which wasn't monitored, like one of them said, why can't you just go to the chamber? Goldstein's suit claims the three boys whom we'll not identify. Their parents and the coach did nothing to deal directly with the issue. There's also a claim the coach tried to get the players themselves to cover up evidence. Attorney Stephen Cohen told Local 4 Today most egregious about this. What's surprising is that a 15-year-old American kid playing hockey has to confront it at the age of 50. What's second worst is that the adults are more concerned about wiping it away and keeping it undercover. While Caleb has dreams of playing college hockey, he's left. Like wondering why they decided to do it and it's just made me angry and I try not to like show it. Now, we reached out to the many attorneys in this case. We did hear back from the Michigan Hockey Association, which said that they did have a hearing, that they sanctioned these boys, put them on probation, suspended them for some games, and also had them get sensitivity training that they were involved in no way in any anti-Semitism here. But Cohen says that the team was able to add some extra games to make sure the boys could make up the games they were suspended for. In the meantime, there are other attorneys who say this isn't even really a case they wanted thrown out they'll be in court on april 6th reporting live in troy rod maloney local four okay rod thanks